What's up, y'all? My name's Bill, and this is how I do it. Today, I'm coming back at you with another episode of Tiny Engine Tuesday, what we call in TNT. And if you don't know, that's where we fix small engines on Tuesdays. And today, what I got for you guys is a FS85 steel hedge trimmer. A customer brought it in today, said he has taken it to numerous other small engine places. All of them couldn't seem to find the issue. And uh, today what we're gonna do, we're gonna diagnose this thing and see exactly what's going on with it. I know from the jump, I can tell that the fuel bulb is missing. So I know there's no, no good right there. All right, so. you already know what we're gonna do. We're gonna check the four pillars of diagnosing the small engine. And that's fuel, air, spark, and compression. All right, so right off the bat, I told you about the fuel bulb is missing, so well, we know it's a fueling issue already. So we're just gonna go through everything else. We'll take off our air, um, air housing. Nothing looks like it's obstructing this at all, so that looks fine. Um, I don't know about the muffler yet. And uh, everything looks okay, so let me just, just try to pull the string and just see what's happening. Ooh. That's a little too easy. It feel like it might be a lack of compression as well. So I don't know. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's check for spark. And um, yeah, let's check for spark a little different today. I'm gonna shoot a little hot sauce in here. That ether, that that make your soul burn slow. Sometimes I like using a little starter fluid to fire it up. Cause you can check multiple things at the same time. You can check for compression. You can check for all of them at the same time. So that's why I usually like doing it. It's a little shot, not too much. Wow, see, that's supposed to fire it up. It's absolutely nothing. That's supposed to fire it up. We got it in start, so that was supposed to fire that engine up. So, all right, so either we got a spark issue or a compression issue. If we got a compression issue, that means we may have to get a new cylinder head and a piston. So, Hopefully that's not that, but being that it's been in other shops, maybe it is that, you know, cause Hold up Hold up, I want to take this spark plug That bad boy is loose Hold up, that might be our compression issue Hold on Let me see if I can get this boot off That might be our uh, compression issue Take this boot off. Oh man, this thing is really loose. This thing is super loose. Spark plug looks old and rusty and dry, and it's loose. I tell you what, I got a spark plug over here. I'll try on it. Hold on. Let's put our spark plug boot back on. Let's give it another shot and just see what it do. Uh-oh, it fired. Man, don't tell me. Man, don't tell me it was just a compression. See what I'm saying? Check the four pillars every time you diagnose a small engine. It could be something simple as that. I hear I was thinking that I may have had to change the um may have had to change the head and the piston out and the re-ring re the piston. This might be our only issue with the compression. But this unit is missing a fuel bulb on the carburetor. So I got to take this off and at least uh, clean it up and put a bulb on here and just see um, or where we at on that, on the carburetor, because it could still have a carburetor issue. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this um, air filter housing off. I'm going to take this carburetor off and I'm gonna clean it up. And when I come back, I'm going to reinstall it and uh, let's see what we have. And I may change the lines out too since I'm already that far in the filter. So, the filter. So, let's get it. All right, let's take this fuel filter off. Well, fuel filter housing. Take that off. Let's pull that off. All right. 
these lines off. And what I'm gonna do, original carburetor as well. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this thing, I'm gonna clean it up. See, it still has this gasket on the back. Let's see if we can save that gasket. Ooh, came off smooth. We're gonna save that gasket. All right, we're back. We got a brand new cleaned up carburetor. When I did take it apart, I did notice that the diaphragm was a little stiff, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a go and just see what we have. Um, everything else looked okay. I could tell it was some old gas and stuff in here, and I cleaned it out real good. So I'm hoping that this right here will uh, fix our issue. If not, we had to go with another carb and a whole new carb kit, but I hope not. Uh I looked at the lines, man, the lines aren't broken or anything, so I'm just gonna keep the same lines in there. And uh, for now, you know, just see how well it runs like this. So let's just put our card back on. Take our case back off. I had this just to keep up with the bolts. Take that off. I just didn't want to lose anything. Keep all our gaskets in place. Green gasket still back there. I'm just gonna run with that. So now we're gonna fill her up with gas. This is what I'm using. All right, so let's uh, prime it up. Let's see what we got. Okay, okay. It's not too bad. Okay, it fired up, but it does have a leak. But uh, it still should crank though. You know, it might need some tuning or whatnot. All right, as you can tell, we got it fired up, but you see it, it, the, it was running full throttle, then it would come down and it would cut off. So I'm just gonna change out the carburetors real quick and just make sure that's the issue. All right, choke it. Unchoke. So, man, you know what's funny? I was about to change out this coil, 
because it, it seemed like it was intermittently firing and misfiring and all this stuff. So I took a closer look at the carburetor first. You want to know what's interesting? Like I said, this unit's been worked on before. It got all kinds of tags on it, all kinds of stuff. Whoever worked on this before, they had the return line and the fuel line reverse. So when it was firing up, it was just running that little bit of gas that was in there from it being reversed. So when it started running, it would die. It would immediately die. So check this out. I got it on choke right now. Fire it up, right? Look at that. Look at that. Only thing was wrong with these lines was reverse. I thought I was gonna make a video about changing out the coil. Guess not, <laughs> not on this unit anyway. All right, let's test this thing out on some overgrown bushes. Okay, as you can see, we got the hedge trimmer up and running. Uh, we had actually had two issues today. The first issue being that uh, it was missing that fuel bulb. And the second issue being that the lines were actually reversed, meaning that the, re the return line from the fuel bulb and the actual main fuel line were reversed. So what was happening was when you primed it, it was actually pulling fuel into the carburetor. And when it did that, it was burning that fuel and then it would die. But when I had the fuel tank filled enough, it was actually using that, that return line, which is a shorter length line. It was, pull, it was sucking gas into the carburetor and serving like the main fuel line. So it was running normally. But when that fuel level dropped down below that return line outlet, it would go back and it would die. But we got it all fixed up. This is how I do it. 